But hey, I just heard that we got the, the runners of the Super Mario World Relay on deck with ADEF. So everyone, give it up. Give a round of applause. We got ADEF. Let's go. Hello, Summer Games Done Quick 2022. What a showcase we just witnessed. But gamers, I am joined by the team captains of the upcoming Super Mario World Relay Race. Yes, make some noise. I am joined by the team captain of RNG Dolphins. That's Barbarous King. And I'm joined by the team captain of Double Jump Dinos. That's Juz <laughs> Cook. Uh, we've got Third Wall and Shovda and Carl Sagan 42 and Shoujo on deck. This is going to be such an amazing relay race. How are the two of you doing? Doing. I'm feeling good. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't be more ready for it. I've been practicing a lot this week and I'm, I'm feeling on top of my game. Excellent. Barb? Feeling good. Been a lot of practice, a lot of playing uh, all the ROM hacks I've played over the past few years, and uh, feeling our, our team is ready. Excellent. You love to hear that. I would love to hear a little bit about this relay race. What's it like? What can we expect? Well, we're going to be playing levels uh, made by some of the most wildly creative people in the community. And they're the levels that none of us have ever seen before. So going in, we're going to have to think on our feet and uh, adjust to the situation. And it's going to create some pretty crazy moments, I think, where we're just going to have to figure it out as we go. I think if you saw the, the race we did a couple years ago here... Uh, it's going to be a lot crazier this time. I've been told that we should be very scared of them. <laughs> uh, but the, the whole community has come a very long way in customizing levels since then. Excellent. Yeah, I mean, you know, what we saw in years past, I think we can expect the next level. Uh, I would love to hear, you know, do you have some kind of foresight? Do you, do you have some kind of level you're expecting? Or maybe a level you wish does not appear? <laughs> Well, with something like Mario Maker, that you have to make levels within a very certain frame. There's only so much you can do. With Super Mario World, uh, the, the sky is the limit in terms of anything that the coders can even think of at this point. And we have to give a shout out to some of the people in our community, like uh, D to the Fourth, and uh, we got f yeah, 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 Fawful, <laughs> and of course Mark Alarm. They've been working very hard uh, this week, particularly right up to the last couple hours, yeah. just to make sure it's all going to work right. And they make amazing stuff, but they are also terrifying because <laughs> anything they can do anything within Super Mario World. So we're in trouble. <laughs> the Super Mario World is their oyster, and for you, that spells danger. And for us, fun. So that's great. <laughs> uh, I got to know, for the both of you, and we can start with Just Cook here, what are your team's strengths? You know, of the two people and yourself, what sort of levels do you think you work well with? Ooh, um, I'm usually pretty good at blind reading. Okay. Um, and usually my first attempt is a good one. And then because I get completely lucky, I'll, ke I'll keep dying to everything that I haven't learned. Before. Sure. <laughs> um, we've got Carl. Carl's, he's a pioneer of the old speed running of Super Mario World. And he actually created a lot of the cape mechanics that we use in speed runs now. Sure. And Shoujo is as good at every game that she plays. <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> Barb? Our team is ferocious. Mm, yes. And we love to hear a team captain who believes in his team. <laughs> between, between Third Wall, myself, and Shavda, we have endured some of the worst garbage. <laughs> in, in, insane <laughs> challenges that I think we can handle anything coming at us. We're poised to win. Excellent. Well, I'd like to get a little gauge of the audience here. Who, and by round of applause, if you're with Barb, that's Team RNG Dolphins, let's get a round of applause. <laughs> okay. And then who is here for my man, Just Cook, on Team Double Jump Dinos? <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Seems okay. pretty even. Excellent. <laughs> well, with that, uh, I think we actually have some prizes here. A few moments later. Well, you're absolutely correct to get hyped because we are ready for our Super Mario World Relay Race with Barbarian, Just Cook, Carl Sagan 42, Shavda, Shoujo, and Third Wall. Let's get it! <laughs> Thank you. 
Uh, I we have three. Uh, we have some of the best Mario players here. We got some great levels for this Mario World fan game. I'm Cascade, and with me we have... Hi, I'm Amethyst. And? Hi, I'm Mark Alarm. And we have an exciting relay for you with levels never before seen. Uh, Mark, would you like to quickly explain how this is going to work? Sure. So the format of this race is going to be, first off, a three strikes you're out rule, where the player that's playing right now they're going to get three attempts at the level, and once they die three times, they're going to rotate to the next player, and they're going to get three lives. And that's going to continue until one of the teams beats the level. And once a team beats the level, then the next player is going to rotate regardless of how many lives are left, and the next team and the other team will do the same thing. As for beating the levels, if you beat a level, you're going to get a 10-second advantage on the final level. So if you beat all six levels, then you're going to have a full minute advantage over the other team. But if it's three and three, they're going to go into the final level going at the same time. And whoever beats the final level first is going to be the winner of this relay. Correct. And just to reiterate, these players are playing these levels completely uh, without seeing them before. None of us, uh, none of the players have seen them, and two of the commentators have actually never seen them before either. This is our first time seeing them. So Amethyst, as someone who plays uh, Super Mario World levels like this, what kind of things can you expect the players to be thinking about or feeling while well, going into these yeah, uh, levels? Yeah, the have been uh, preparing for this for a few months now. They've at least known who the creators are in advance, so they have been playing a few things by by said creators to practice. They're probably going to be looking out for some some signature cues that they've seen in uh, the uh, the mods that these creators have made before. So they're going to be looking for any advantage here. Excellent. This is. Mod. This is going to be exciting. It's the first time these levels have been seen before. And with that going on, we got a level starting up with both Seo Kadelic and the Borgie Man. And also shout outs to Margo for the overworld. But with that said, let's get this relay going. Uh, you want to count down with me from three? Three, two, one, go! All right, on the left side, we have the double jump dinos, which is. Uh, Jessica, Carl, and Shoujo. On the right, we have the RNG Dolphins, which is Third Wall, Thank you. Shovda, and Barb. Um, and as you can see, you have their names in the top left corner. And also below their names, there is a, uh, a three up, a two up, or a one up, showing how many turns they have left before the, t the players have to switch off for the level. And now you're getting to get to see the rotation aspect of all this, where once they get through all three lives, the team has to get up, rotate, do a little bit of musical chairs to keep playing the levels. Correct. Now in this first section, uh, this is made by Sio Kadelic, and Sio is a, a creator who it makes very accessible levels, very beautiful palettes, as you can see with this nice uh, purple and, and orange. Um, we have some. Yeah. Sio's a creator who has a high emphasis on really interesting platforming. And really it, basic and accessible platforming, and you can see that here. Absolutely. It definitely looks like a CEO. Absolutely. We're starting off with some uh, oh. some falling uh, yellow platforms with some spin jumps on fireballs. Um, and we're just trying to see where they're going to go from here. Once again, uh, two of the commentators have never seen these before. This is our first time seeing these. Yeah, so these yellow blocks are made by the, the Bergie Man, and the later sections are also going to include some of his work. Oh, 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 make a quick make a break for oh. Oh, oh, can we? Oh! 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 Just missing oh, it. Barely slightly. missing the pipe. Three chances to get into that pipe. That was really close. That was close. some really good sight reading by Shoujo. Oh. That was great sight reading. And one of the benefits of being able to sight read like that is even if she doesn't make it, her teammates can see what was up ahead, which is great. Uh, knowledge is critical in a relay race like this. Even if you may not be actually playing the level, you get to see what your teammates are do doing and adjust from there, which is just critical being able to get as much information as possible. And it looks it like nice. in, the in there, let's go. Getting the first checkpoint. Now, this next section is made by the Borgie Man, another fantastic creator, a very creative. Uh, they seem to be using the same like, palette style. I love these falling fast pipes. I don't think I've seen that before. Very reminiscent of one of their games called Luminescent, a fantastic game. Uh, with some sections similar to this, so I can see the Borgia Man vibes here, which is fantastic. And let's give a big round of applause for Dan the VP who did the port of this song. That's the music that you're hearing. Woo! Yo, let's go, Dan! <laughs> oh, oh, squished. All right. Looking good. We, we can see some stuff so they can get some knowledge from that death while the RNG Dolphins try to get to that section as well. 
Uh, but so far, things are looking pretty good for both teams. Uh, even if one team happens to be more ahead, like all the teams need really is like one good sight reading moment and any team can can jump ahead in a relay race like this. Yeah, never, never count anyone out here. Yeah, one of the most important things in a relay race is this. It's not just about being able to one shot. It's also about being able to gather information. It's about consistency. The more consistent a runner can be, the more chances they have at getting to the section. Oh, oh. Dolphins had a very close attempt there to that pipe, but third wall has another two attempts. So if he has that consistency, he'll be able to make it back there without much of a problem. Yeah, consistency is important. It's just as important as being able to one shot and sight read things fast. Oh, we got uh, a cape. Shoujo getting to the top here, getting a feather, which gives her a cape. Uh, so we're going to see what kind of cape shenanigans we got in this level. This is the, the objectively oh. best. Oh, oh sh There we go. <laughs> crushed by that falling pipe. And once again, anything can happen. You might not be expecting it, but the creators are. They're watching. They're waiting. <laughs> this, is, this is incredible. Do we have time for a donation in here? Yes, Absolutely. Please. All right. We have $25 in oh, the pipe. Oh, oh, the pipe. Oh, the pipe. Let's go. Let's go. All tied up. Just kidding. H first. All right. <laughs> <laughs> but we have $25 from Glitch Cat 7. Uh, Woo! Glitch. I love you, Glitch. That says, Kaizo Mario is special because we make it ourselves. It's a community teeming with creativity and talent. And I'm grateful to call you my friends. Thank you, racers, and everyone for showing the best of what we can do when we're here together. Yo, thank you, Glitch. Thank you, Glitch. Glitch. We thank love you, you Glitch. So thank you for that donation, Glitch. Really appreciate you. So both teams now in the same section. Uh, let's see what they can make out here. So it's not too far apart between the two. Yeah, double jump giants have a little bit of a knowledge advantage. A little bit of knowledge advantage, but anything can happen. Oh, oh make some oh. good moves, <laughs> Yeah, even in a context like this with the race with levels they've never seen before, they can still get trolled. Absolutely, and they should. <laughs> but currently, things are fairly even between the two teams. Uh, we're going to see if someone can get an advantage... A little just bit more information. For a good, break, good sight read. All it takes is one player just making a really good read. And anything can change, so, but currently pretty even between the two. Absolutely. And we do have $100 from Xiao Xiao. Hey, Xiao. Xiao Xiao, let's go. That just says, good luck, racers. If they could speak, they'd say thank you. <laughs> <laughs> we also have $250 from D to the Fourth. Yo, oh, D. D. Yo, D. It says, really glad to be a part of this event again. Much love to and from the whole SMW community and hoping to see a wonderful race. Thank you so much, D4. The Mario community is fantastic, full of amazing people, very generous, and we couldn't have oh. done this without any of that. Let's go. And now, H. 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 Third Let's section. go. In this third section, this was actually a created by both CEO Cadelic and the Borgi Man together, so I'm really interested in seeing what they have in store for us. Looks like we're taking the, uh, we're, we're going downwards now, no? We're going downwards. We have a throw block uh, on the wall. We're gonna, it looks like they're taking the throw block and using that to break, uh, turn some uh, yellow blocks and let them get past. Let's see where this pipe's taking us. Take us on a little bit of a journey here. Oh, they're following the pipe all the way down. That's really cool. One thing I would like to point out about this relay race is that uh, we, it is Legends of the Hidden Temple theme because we are children. <laughs> <laughs> and as you can see from like the amazing Mario artwork with the the shirts that represent the colors wow. of the teams and the, the helmet <laughs> because, you know, safety first. Bar with a really close attempt for yeah. the Dolphins, making it very far. Getting valuable information for their team. Yeah, once again, information is critical. Even if you can't make it through the section, just getting information for the player that's coming up next is an important thing to be able to do here. Let's go, Shoujo. Shoujo hitting the peace switch, which lets her in the oh. pipe. In the pipe. Oh. Oh. These reads. Oh. 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 The peace switch. 
Letty and the oh double God. jump, oh, Dino State oh. level one with some amazing reach and show, Joe. Absolutely fantastic work. With the double jump, Dino's taking level one, giving them a 10 second advantage going into the final level. But there's plenty of levels left over for the RNG Dolphins to make that up. So. Awesome. As we get set up for the next level, time for donation? Absolutely. Please. Yes. We have $1,500 from Darkenon. Darkenon, Dark. let's go. <laughs> Who says, the Super Mario World community never ceases to amaze me with how supportive it is and how much they are willing to work to make a positive impact in the world. Seeing the amount of work, love, and dedication that went into making this relay race a reality was absolutely wild. And I can't think of a better stage for their efforts than SGDQ 2022. Good luck to both teams, but go Dinos! And let's multi-tap <laughs> those wallets to keep those donations coming to support the fantastic and positively impactful work of Doctors Without Borders. Absolutely, thank you. Now going into level two, we have a level made by both G Breeze and Miracle Water. Amethyst, what can you tell us about these creators real quickly? Uh, G Breeze and Miracle Water are both on a, a group called the Jump Team. They are known for making some really uh, cerebral setups, let's call them. Cerebral's good. <laughs> it's going to be weird. Yes. It's going to be weird. It's going to be weird, and it's going to be probably a little tricky to figure out. Absolutely. So I think we will get started with this one. On, let's I think go. we're ready for a countdown. Let's go. Three, Three two, two, one, go! go. Oh, this music doesn't bode well. It's not going to be Tons smooth. and shoes creates a shockwave. Ooh. Oh, so we got a power-up that... When you land, it's a shock <laughs> upwards. This is interesting. Oh, that is. Yeah, every time you land on the ground, all the sprites are going to get shot up into the air. I love the ripple effect. That I have a feeling I'm going to say this a lot tonight, but I've never seen this before. Yeah, this is a brand new uh, thing to me in Mario World. And Super Mario World, you can actually get really creative and create a lot of custom things. And every day when we play these <laughs> levels, Creators are just making more and more weird things, and it's absolutely incredible the creativity people have in this community. These are some setups. <laughs> absolutely incredible. So they're using the shockwave to move sprites out of the way um, to get an advantage in here. This is fascinating. And also using sprite interactions like the magic from the Magic Koopa, uh, using that to open up a block and spawn a sprite <laughs> that you can land on. Incredible. I knew going into this that this level would be interesting, to say the least. <laughs> well, we're still sorting out these uh, earthquakes. Got some time for donations? Absolutely. Yep. Well, thank you to everyone who's sending them in. So many, especially from the audience. I see you out there. Thank you so much. <laughs> so we've got $250 from Deppy Slide saying, it was so cool to get to meet all my SMW Central pals in person today. Always love to see Kaizo Mario at GDQ, and this relay race has been a blast. Keep it up, everybody. Let's go. So one thing about this relay is we have six players. They're all fantastic players. But one thing about uh, playing SMW oh. mods is that oh. players can have different strengths and weaknesses. And we're going to be really seeing that in this relay. A level like this that might be a bit more puzzly might play to the strengths of one player over another. So as we go through the levels, it's going to be interesting seeing which players gravitate to what mechanics, what setups, um, and who will be able to take that advantage and help their teams. Uh, get the the points going into the final level. Both teams are pretty neck and neck right now, both dying to the green gas bubbles uh, as they land, get get them shot up into them. Yeah. <laughs> Whichever team manages to figure out what to do with those uh, those green bubbles is gonna probably be able to make some progress here. Yeah, this, this part of some uh, parts of <laughs> levels can be a bit puzzly, and so uh, once you figure out that puzzle, you might be able to make it through. And it looks like our players are trying to figure out a kind of puzzle right now. Oh, there we go, third ball. Using the shockwaves to do some interesting things with his boulders. Really oh. fascinating. Yeah, and the puzzle aspect of these levels is really interesting because typically when these players are playing, they're at home and they don't have any other players to reference unless they're watching like a clear video or something. Now, they don't have a clear video with them here, but they have the advantage of watching other players. They can see, okay, what did that player do that made sense, that worked? What did they do that didn't make sense or didn't work? 
So as they're rotating around, they're able to get that information from one, e from one another and make the best of use of it that they can. It also, it also helps to have been, uh, to play uh, some of the creator's other hacks. I know uh, people up on stage have played Odd Sands by these two creators, which is a much more difficult hack, but of the same, uh, same puzzly caliber. And even if a player might not be so adept at a puzzly level like this, uh, the fact that you have two other players to work off of can help make up some of the weaknesses that you might have had in a level like that prior. Because you're not working alone, this is a team effort. So being able to not only just play the <laughs> level and figure it out yourself, but also being able to take that knowledge well, and the 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 first checkpoint. Making it, making progress for the RNG Dolphins. Absolutely. Oh, we got a blue Yachty, Sean. So right here, the dolphins want to get this Yoshi, and there's some berries. And if they knock Yoshi up too many times, it'll leave him in the air and forever lost, inaccessible to the player. Because <laughs> Yoshi's hungry, and it's important for good nutrition. <laughs> the double jump giant is close to uh, getting to the room, trying to figure this part out. Uh, but things are still very close as the uh, RNG Dolphins trying to figure out the early parts of this level, so it's still very oh. close. Any good reads can bring it up. Trying to juggle this Yoshi at the beginning of the air is a really interesting obstacle they'll have to navigate. It's difficult as a Mario World player because your instinct is to drop Yoshi in pit. <laughs> but this level says no, and I don't understand. We have time for some donations in here while we're Absolutely. figuring this puzzle out. Definitely. Awesome. We have $35 from Lungfish3000. Let's go, Lung. That says, peace and love to all the racers. In their skills and in Doctors Without Borders, I have firm belief. <laughs> Thank you so much, Lungfish. We Thank you so much. Oh. <laughs> so as you can see on the dolphins, they were trying to drop Yoshi into a pit, but there's ground there, so we can't really do that just yet. <laughs> Try to keep Yoshi alive as long as possible. Oh, and we... Oh, man. Whoa. That was a very good Crazy. attempt by Barb. Very good attempt. Getting good information for Shavda right up next. Absolutely. Once again, this level doing its best to try to trick players into not dropping Yoshi into a pit, which I do not believe in, but... Welcome to the relay. I think this sort of level really plays to folks like uh, shoved in third wall strengths uh, with being able to um, figure out setups. Absolutely. Um, once again, these players all have different strengths, different weaknesses. And with the variety of levels that you're going to see tonight, uh, there's definitely going to be uh, certain players that gravitate towards different levels, different setups. So a level like this might be better for the RG Dolphins versus the Dinos, but that doesn't mean that they'll always have the advantage. So it's really interesting to see what kind of levels we have in and, store. And that plays back into the whole consistency versus one shot thing where one team may be more consistent or more familiar with a certain creator's levels, but if the other team is able to get that one good shot, one good attempt, then they can pull out ahead. Absolutely. So it's always close. You never know what's going to happen. Just want to jump in and say we have $300 from Dreisel. That's... <laughs> that says... So excited to see my two favorite runners, Barb and Shoujo, facing off yeah, let's go, Barb. on opposing teams for charity. Good luck to all. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh! Oh, interesting. That is important information for... Oh, Shoujo, Shoujo getting barely the getting in the door. So now both, right, both teams are on the same section, so... But just because they're in the same section doesn't mean they're necessarily at the same point because the Dolphins have a little bit of an information advantage. Absolutely. Yep. Third one, uh, or shoved on a good attempt for it was a Dolphins. very good attempt. Uh, let's see, at, at, a, at a point like this in the race where one team is has more information level, uh, it's really important to see just how quickly the other team can adjust to the mechanics to try to make up some time um, getting to the next parts here. Oh! <laughs> oh. Shoved up trying to figure out that double disco shell setup. Not quite getting it, but still gaining some information, which is incredibly important. 
Also, some pretty infor important information that we forgot to touch on at the beginning of this is if the racers hit 15 minutes for a certain level, then we are gonna have to move on to the next level without finishing it. Um, <coughs> just to keep things moving and making sure that we get through all the levels. Um, and we'll handle that based off of either the number of checkpoints they have, or if they have the same number of checkpoints, then it'll just be considered a tie and we'll move on. They're on a good run for the dolphins. That's oh! Ah! Oh! 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 So close! <laughs> the dreaded up pipe, you hate to see it. <laughs> the up pipes are pretty infamous in Super Mario World for being difficult to enter. So ending the uh, level like this with a trick like that is a little bit frightening. Very. But they do know what's coming up now, so the next time they may be able to nail it easily. So we'll see what's going to happen here. But very exciting end to this level. We'll or see. potentially, we don't know. Up pipes are pretty tricky. That is true. <laughs> I do want to say, if you're enjoying this Super Mario World race, we have more Mario that we can put in the schedule, of course. We have our Super Mario 64 bonus game, so be sure to get your donations in for that. When you donate, assign it to Super Mario 64. I'm just figuring out the oh, <laughs> disco oh, shell rise. title there. Probably have time for a quick donation. Fantastic. We have so many coming in. We have $100 from Alice at Wonderland Games. Woo! That says, thanks to all the SMW Relay Runners for years of content and laughs. You are all amazing. Also, Carl, I found a better use for the money, heart. <laughs> we also have $100 from Mr. Six that says, hi from Australia. Please remember to send Juz back when you're done with him. He nearly got lost last time. Uh that's all up to the LA airport, really. And we have $50 from Hank Sinatra. Woo! It says, best of luck to all the runners. Love you all. <laughs> oh, let's see. All right. Third Another welcome. attempt. Unfortunate. We have $50 from Boop from Yoshi that says, let's go Shoujo and the double jump dinos. Here's a Boop from Yoshi for good luck. Boop! <laughs> Joss and Barb, neck and neck right now. <laughs> Literally doing the same thing. Oh. oh. We can probably do another one. Oh, they have another time for a quick donation. Fantastic. We have $100 from the Little Hylian. <laughs> that says, greetings from the audience. So glad to be here together with all my wonderful friends from the SMW community. Y'all never cease to amaze me. Good luck to all the racers. Let's crush those levels. So currently we have uh, the RNG Dolphins have a little bit of an advantage here as they've seen the end and they're just trying to get a little bit more uh, consistency getting back there. Uh, once again, consistency is as important or more important <laughs> than being able to one shot as uh, being able to get more chances at that obstacle helps generate an advantage uh, for you getting through the level. So just trying to get back but there. But it could see. just get back to, it could just down to someone just getting in the up pipe for the first time there. Yeah. It could be anyone at this point. We got a few more minutes to see if we can get a player to a pipe. And third wall coming back oh. for redemption. But just making some moves too. Let's see. Well, what that he was can a do. really tight Doshi dismount. Oh, oh, let's okay. see. Just attempt. Making oh, let's go! Yeah, let's go! Oh! Woo! No! <laughs> no! 
<laughs> oh, interesting. We got a checkpoint in this this orb section. <laughs> so they're gonna. <laughs> this orb setup was made by. Uh, this is not quite water. This is not nice. <laughs> no, this is this is great. This is fantastic. If they don't you figure mean. this out, then the dolphins can catch up. Yeah. Oh, oh they got it. And the double jump dinos taking level two. Giving them a 20-second advantage so far, going into the final level. Fantastic. Really fabulous come from behind there for the for the dino. That was not an easy looking level either. No. That was that looked tough. That looked extremely tough, not easy, very puzzly. Ex exactly what we expected out of uh, those two creators. So fantastic work. Moving to level three, we have a level made by PK, <laughs> which is going to be uh -oh. incredible. Real um quick, can we uh, have a I have a large donation here? Oh, yes, absolutely. Please. Please. All right, from Dan Silvato, we have $5,000. And Dan says, this is for all my friends in the SMW community. The way you breathe new life into our favorite classic consoles and games is inspiring to me as a developer. And your incredible display of platforming skill is inspiring to me as a gamer. It's beautiful seeing designers, artists, musicians, and assembly coders come together and create such magic. I hope we can all admire your skills for many years to come. Thank you, Dan. Thank you Thanks so much. Dan. Thank you so much. Uh, going into, the, into level three, we have a level made by VK. Now, Amethyst, what can you tell us about VK? Cape. Cape. VK is a major cape enthusiast, so if we don't see cape in this level, I don't know what to believe anymore. <laughs> so with that said, I guess we'll just get it started. Uh, in three, two, one, go! So BK made a mod called Let's Give Up, which is uh, entirely cape-based. He's a massive cape enthusiast. And the creators were warned that there will be capes, so you better know how to fly, but I don't mean, give up. The only heads up I was given about this level was to tell people to rise for the SMWC National Anthem. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, okay. Shoujo actually Fair making enough. it quite far into the level, getting information about it. So... Interesting. So, a lot to parse early on. Uh, the level starts you off with cape, and there just seems to be a jamboree of stuff happening. You're probably as confused as me looking at this right now. <laughs> Yeah, there's a lot of things going on here. Uh, right, right at the very beginning, they're trying to spin this on-off block and this switch in order to get into a P-Balloon so that they can fly through this a little bit differently than they would otherwise with a cape. Uh, we got a bullet hell uh, <laughs> lotus up there. We got a toho lotus. <laughs> so, yeah, it looks like we are getting some... We, the players were warned. They weren't told very much, but they were warned that there would be some flying with Yoshi. So we have to use our dino friend to an advantage here. So I'm curious to see where this is going to go. I love the air quotes that you had to do for <laughs> our friend. Yeah, you probably couldn't see it, but there were air quotes, yes. This level screams BK, though. The purple aesthetic. <laughs> uh, normally in Super Mario World, the cape is yellow. And BK makes a lot of levels are primarily using the purple palette, specifically because purple and yellow um, for, you know, color theory, color theory fans out there. <laughs> so this screams BK. Um, Shout out to color theory. Color theory, let's go. <laughs> so right there on the dolphin side, oh, they just missed it. Uh, you're seeing that they're actually flying with Yoshi. Now, in Super Mario World, it's not really an intended mechanic, but because this is Kaizo and we're kind of pushing Mario World to its limits, we're just going to fly with Yoshi by sticking out the tongue on the dolphin side. You're able to keep Yoshi in a consistent state, so you're able to keep flying even while you're riding. So a couple things I'm noticing as I'm starting to actually like parse this better. <laughs> uh, at the top of the screen, we do have a Lotus. And normally in Super Mario World, the Lotus shoots four fireballs that are in a uh, specific pattern. And this one's custom. It's shooting blue ones that track Mario's previous location. Um, another thing to know in Super Mario World, when Yoshi 
uh, eats a Koopa shell. The color of the shell determines what will happen when Yoshi has it. Now, normally, if you have a green shell, Yoshi would just spit it out normally. Uh, right here, they're getting a red Koopa, and in Super Mario World, when Yoshi spits that shell out, it actually turned to fireballs, which they're going to be using to their advantage here. Um, I'm curious to see if there are going to be other colored shells in this, but I guess we'll find out. The dino is getting a little bit of a lead there. Some information. Something's trying to get a, a little bit. Trying to trying figure some out information. Oh. Probably have time for a very quick donation. Sounds good. We have five dollars from Brad Brains. That says. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's go, Brad. It can't be understated just how great the runners and commentators are for this Mario World fan game relay. We are all so proud of you. Thank you, Brad. Ooh. Thanks, Brad. <laughs> So in Super Mario World, we are seeing on the RNG Dolphin side uh, later on in this section of a blue coin. And in Mario World fan uh, games, they use colored coins for different kinds of indicators. Um, and if you've had experience with this creator's levels before, you see the blue coin and a Yoshi usually means that the creator wants you to do a dive back onto the Yoshi. And in Super Mario World, when you dive off a of Yoshi and land back on it, you actually go into a state where you can essentially ground pound uh, and cause interactions with sprites, which is what you're seeing here at the end of this section. Yeah, both teams are actually making it quite far into the into this section now, figuring out how exactly they're, they want to get through this. Um, it may be fairly short before the pipe, but um, there's a lot going on here. It's short, so. but it's a very technical section. So yes, very technical. The length might be, might be short, but the things that they need to parse and figure out and do is, is not easy. Yeah, there's a credible amount of uh, tech packed into this small section. Absolutely. The cape that you can do in Super Mario World is incredibly advanced, and we've kind of like, I've been taking it to the limit recently um, with the things that we're able to do with it, which is absolutely incredible. And you're seeing some of it right here is actually like really impressive, very well done. With a great tune. <laughs> Real quick, we have $250 from RB Pimlico. That... Oh, oh, right. oh okay. making it in. in. Dinos. Let's go. <laughs> Great job. Real quick, the comment says, have fun, racers. Huge shout outs to Dr. No, Dekula, Fawful, Glitchcat, CO, Bergy, G Breeze, Miracle Water, BK, Burpee, Maddie, allegedly, Idol, Margo, D to the fourth, <laughs> and everyone that contributed making this wild race a functional reality. Thank you so much. Ooh. Awesome. Thank you so much for your donation. Uh, getting into the next section, we have a boss. We have a fight. boost. We have a boost. Um, in Super Mario World, there are, in the ghost houses, there are booze you can fight, and BK is using that to create essentially an arena using Mario with Yoshi flight. Um, typically, the boo takes three And the hits. Dolphins make it into the pipe as well. It's Let's neck go. and neck all on the boss. Excellent. Both teams, not much of a, a huge advantage here. They're going to be saying that they're in a boss <laughs> arena, and they're going to know pretty quickly what they need to do. Um, but typically in Mario World, the, the giant boos take three hits and the racers are going to be seeing around the arena what they can use and it should be pretty apparent fast for them. <laughs> this doesn't look easy though. No. This does not look easy. So we had a short section going into what might be not so easy of a boss fight. So Super Mario World, you can actually fly using Yoshi um, by essentially elongating Yoshi's tongue. Normally you can't fly using Yoshi, but if you stick out Yoshi's tongue at the same time that you're doing a flight input, you can basically just keep flying on Yoshi normally. So we're using that oh. to, to get around this arena, to grab shells. Um, it's a very technical maneuver. It's a very, it's a very technical maneuver. This is not an easy boss fight, it looks like. So the cape scale of the players is going to be very and some players may have a huge advantage here. We actually, on Double Jump Dinos, we have Carl Sagan, who created a Mario fan game uh, called Fly Me to the Stars, which is an incredibly technically impressive uh, cape mod mm -hmm. that kind of like created and introduced a lot of the tech that we use today for cape. Mm -hmm. So we'll see how that works out for- Oh, that's like a- Oh, 
Yeah, if you're not careful, you can actually spit out the shells right through the wall. One thing that we forgot to mention at the beginning of this, uh, Carl Sagan has said that for every crash that it happens in this game, because there is a potential, he'll be donating $100. And also, every death on the Double Jump Dinos, they'll be donating $5 straight to Doctors Without Borders, so that's fantastic. Woo! Give it up for that. I also have uh, additional information about that. We have $100 from Furful Fawful. Woo! That says, hello from the front row. It was an honor to help put this together, as much of a struggle it was to make the multi-tap work. On behalf of everyone who helped behind the scenes to make this game a reality, we hope you enjoy the levels we've shown and have yet to show. Good luck to all the racers. Plus $300 at the game, Softlocks. We tried, <laughs> Let's go. but sometimes the unexpected can happen. Don't know to Racer's Choice. Thank you so much, Furful. Thanks for all your work, Fawful. Also, huge shout outs to Fawful, who put in a lot of work. There are a lot of people who put in a ton of work. Uh, but Fawful deserves some round of applause for this. You're all amazing people. Thank you so much for doing this. A lot of last minute work to iron things out here. The well, team, teams are very close right now. The teams working on this were working to the last oh. possible second. Oh, my gosh. The last possible moment. Both of them killed the boss, but it doesn't mean that the level's over. They still have to survive for an extra couple seconds before they get the uh, course clear. Yep, you gotta wait until the course clear pops up when Mario will freeze, and that means you gotta find a way to survive. Typically, it's standing on some kind of sprite or object. All right, last hit here. Carl gets it for oh, the Oh, and the Dino's taking level three, giving them a 30 second advantage going into the <laughs> final level. Absolutely incredible, but the RNG Dolphins were very close as well. So absolutely incredible. Before we go on to the next level, would you like to give a donation, please? I would love to. Fantastic. <laughs> we have $250 from Zoe Vermillion. That says, the Super Mario World Kaiser community has had such a positive impact on not only my life, but the lives of people around the world. It's so welcoming, and everyone comes together to make amazing things happen for good causes. Shout outs to people like Carl, Shoujo, Glitchcat, and Amethyst for helping make the world a better place. <laughs> that said, go Dolphins! Let's go! All right, level four, Furby McFrosting. Uh, Amethyst, would you like to say anything about this creator? Yeah, whenever I think Furby, I think Vaporwave. Vaporwave. It's very aesthetic, aesthetic. of Vaporwave levels. Fantastic. And having seen this level before, <laughs> it is... You're gonna wanna, you're gonna wanna see this. That, <laughs> let's just, I think we should just jump right let's into this. Let's just jump in. I'm excited to see this. All right, on three, two, two one, one, go. go. Let's just stay silent and show what happens. <laughs> oh my goodness. I don't know what to say. <laughs> oh, this rolls. Yeah, so no, I'm guessing were... this is where Kaiser Man helped out with. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> speaking of, big shout outs to Kaiser Man who helped create some of the code to make this level possible. Uh, we should get a round of applause groups. for Kaiser Man real quick. <laughs> Kaiser Man developed the mode seven moving background. Let's go level. Shoujo with a one shot. Best mode. <laughs> My preferred mode, for sure. Uh, yeah. This is incredible. It's aesthetically fighting. Oh. <laughs> Very reminiscent a bit of the level D of the Fourth made in the 2019 replay mm -hmm. that had um, the level rotating like that. Dolphin's also making it into the next section. And once again, something that I haven't really personally seen done. This is kind of brand new to me. And to elaborate on that, this is actually something that basically nobody has seen before. <laughs> Kaiser yeah. Man put out a very small demo of, hey, I made this Mode 7 level thing, but didn't really do a whole lot with it. Just to sh just kind of showed off that it exists. Um, but Furby kind of took liberties on that and said, okay, what if I expanded this and made a Kaiser level out of it? And this is kind of the result of that, where it's there's a ro there's rotation, there's scaling, there's all this stuff going on, and 
never before seen being thrown right at the players like it's absolutely nothing and they got to figure out how to get through it like when we say that the, the players have never seen these before <laughs> it's not just like the levels themselves like we've never seen these mechanics before like this is actually incredible oh. so Barb gets in the door for the dolphins Barb getting into the door so not only are the players having to adjust to new levels they've never seen but they're having to adjust to mechanics that <laughs> we've never experienced before which is absolutely fantastic that and that just kind of shows how good all of every single one of these racers is at this game. So I think we should just get a quick round of applause for just their skill in general. Coming out here, playing stuff they've never seen before and just saying, yeah, I can do this. Yeah, no yeah. problem That's whatsoever. Incredible. That straching, the level is now like going diagonal. This is weird. <laughs> this is very This tricky. is just weird. This is amazing. Like, look at, <laughs> that's so incredible. Like, I've never seen, I don't know what to say, really. This is incredible. Oh! <laughs> I'm in awe. Yeah, this is amazing. Like, huge shout-outs to Furpy and Kaizo, man. Like, this level is incredible. Yeah, this just, is one I'm of just entranced. Yeah, I, I don't know what to say. All I can say is Mode 7 rules. Let's go, Mode 7! Yeah, shout-out to Mode 7. The best mode. Yeah, this is one of the most uh, ASM or code heavy levels in this uh, fan game. And it kind of, it just kind of shows like this is something that's never been seen before. And yeah, so the players are really going to have to like learn on the fly how this new never before seen thing exists. And it really goes to show like the skill that you need to not just like be able to do a jump or whatever. It's just like learning and parsing how things work and function together, which is very difficult sometimes. And now you might and you might be thinking, how does one really prepare for playing what they've never played before? And that just kind of comes from playing so many different fan games and mods in the Mario community, where some have custom as like assets. And yeah, you can't. Kind of really making it in. Fantastic. We oh look at this. Look at these. Fa this is. Oh, this, is this is vibing. This is vibing. Incredible. Yeah, like you can't really prepare for something like this. Dolphin's also making it in. You just have to... from Barb. Fantastic work. Uh, you can't really prepare for something like this. You just have to like use your skill uh, from previous levels that you've played and just adjust. The more things that you play, the more the ability you have to adapt on the fly for stuff like this. I just love the smug blocks. Can I just say <laughs> this? Level flipping oh. upside down for the dolphins. I Whoa. See. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> oh. Everything. Yeah, is that's fine. normal. Yeah, no, it's fine. <laughs> yeah, flipping upside down, stretching really tall, wide. It's all, this is all normal. Yeah, this is just life. <laughs> Such as life of the SMW player. Yeah, no, you just wake up, you're upside down. You're Shoujo making jump. it in the door for the dinos. Fantastic progress. We see an orb now. So orb also it. making it in the door for the dinos. Oh, let's go. Let's go Both Barb. teams incredibly close together, so anyone can take it. Getting on the, mic the micro scale now. <laughs> Zooming in really let's far. Go. Let's go, small gaming. Pixel perfect, baby, let's right. <laughs> now we might even get to see some sub pixels, which would be great for the RNG map. Oh! Very close as orb, and anyone could really take it. But, oh, we're not done. Orb! orb! Gosh, that was close. That was incredibly close. Fantastic work. The dino's taking. Uh, the level again, getting the 40 second advantage going into the final level. But before we say that, you know, anyone can still <laughs> win this. They might have an advantage, but whoever takes level, the final level is really getting it. So let's get uh, a quick donation in. Fantastic. I can see uh, this next level is coming up by someone special. So I have a special donation. I've got $25 from Greg Lobanov, allegedly, that says, Maddie, who is allegedly my friend, has allegedly made a level for this alleged relay race. Good luck to the racers enduring her twisted cruelty slash level design. Heart. Allegedly. Allegedly. Thank you, Greg. So what can we allegedly say about this alleged creator? Uh, so if you're not familiar, this alleged creator made some game that you might have heard before. It's called Celeste. I don't know if any of you have heard of that before. 
Never heard yeah, of it. Yeah, it's, it's like a small indie game. Okay. Yeah, it, maybe it might. I'll check up. it out sometime. Yeah, check it out. It might be cool. I don't know. Uh, this, cre- this creator also allegedly made a fan mod ma- named Super S- Supersonic Saves the World World. Yeah, yeah allegedly. Which was allegedly found in a alley or something. Yeah, we're not sure. <laughs> so who knows what we might have here. Allegedly, here's a level. If this allegedly has the Sonic spray, I'm not going to be very happy. I don't think anyone will be. <laughs> Anyways, let's get this one started with three, two, two one, go. go. Oh. Of course, we have Yoshi's Island music, the most cursed music in Super Mario World. <laughs> and we also have uh, anti-gravity. Okay, looks like there we got some ghosts. We have um, an arrow that will show the gravity swapping. Uh, very spooky. I'm getting scared watching this. Now, anyone worth their self that's played enough uh, fan games gets very scared when they see uh, Yoshi's Both Island. Both teams already that. seeing the checkpoint and also having to do a musical chair swap. Yeah, Amethyst making a great point. If you've played enough Mario World levels, uh, the mere sight of Yoshi's Island music or graphical assets is terrifying. Dolphin's making the first checkpoint. Very quick checkpoint, so I'm curious to see how many sections... Oh, you're, actually, you know what? There's already another one right there. There's another checkpoint. Interesting. That's concerning. Tip, reading messages is slow. And <laughs> <even> <laughs> <lose> the <laughs> Let's go for wasting time. All right, I think I, I that, that, that's my cue to cut in here with $2,000 for Maddie Thorson. Yo, Maddie! And she says, wow, whoever made this level must be a sexy genius. Oh. <laughs> allegedly. 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 The SMW community is so inspiring. It was an honor to allegedly work on this alongside so many passionate and talented creators, testers, and organizers. Thank you, Maddie. Allegedly. Allegedly. Thank you, Maddie. Thank yeah, you. shout outs to the testers. A lot of great tests, like the best play testers in, uh, in the community helped out with Absolutely. So in this section, it looks like we have a P-switch. When we hit a P-switch in Super Mario World, it will change blocks wow. into coins. Uh, it, it looks like, though, that there's a custom timer. It's a bit shorter than these players are used to. So we're going to see how this leads up into the next section uh, with gravity swapping and using these, these ghosts to progress. <laughs> and the dolphin's getting another checkpoint. Oh, H. H. Ooh, upside down beam. Nice. First, love it. <laughs> and now right side up beam. Are we gonna go on this? Oh. <laughs> I don't like that. Oh, this. <laughs> Barb figuring out the section pretty fast. Uh, very impressive sight reading. Good reading. Very good reading. Oh, so oh. Barb's not gonna be able to get that checkpoint, but he oh, can... but he's gonna go for getting more information, which is get very a little important. bit more information. But very impressive work on Barb's part there. Uh, made a lot of progress. So we're going to see how they can take that going in uh, with his next attempt. Shoujo also getting the next checkpoint. <laughs> so lots of quick sections in this level. Um, and it looks like the players are being able to, to read this pretty fast, actually. So this is very impressive. Oh. And the Sonic Blu-ray. <laughs> but excellent we might be have time for a donation here all right fantastic i have 100 dollars from echo the dolphin that says hi everybody echo the dolphin here while i'm more into sega genesis than super nintendo i had to flip on in with a donation to support my fellow crustacean let's go in let's go rng dolphins dolphin emoji love your work echo Thank you for that donation. We also have $25 from Ugg Rochester. <laughs> that says, whoa, look at all these awesome people there. I heard Team Vanilla Cave Crusaders are chilling watching this race. Good luck, racers, and everyone have fun and stay safe. Third all the attempt at this checkpoint. Oh. Oh. oh, this is the checkpoint. But can still go a little bit further to get some information for their team which is going to be important. Making good progress, but cutting the jump just a little short, but they've now been able to get to that checkpoint a couple times. So uh, the consistency is building, which is good. We'll see if they can get that soon while the double jump dinos tries to uh, catch up to that. The 
probably do another donation. Sounds good. We have $100 from the Java Brew. Woo! That says, I've been so excited for this relay for months, and it's been a blast to see some of my friends in the SMW community come together to help a good cause. Oh, show your oh, oh, point. Best of luck to the racers, and shout out to the couch, especially our number one Mario nerd, Kez. <laughs> Oh, Shoujo making a oh, lot of Barb with the read. Barb with them. Oh, oh, so close, but those were fantastic reads. Barb was able to grab the checkpoint, so he'll have another quick attempt at this, but Shoujo unfortunately couldn't, so she's going to have to keep going back through it and hopefully get it next time. Let's see if he can get it. And that's the checkpoint. Great reads from Barb in this level so far. And Shoujo with the checkpoint as well. Shoujo. Excellent. Fantastic work. So we're doing some more P-Switch timer stuff, it appears. We'll see how that plays out. Shoujo also getting the next checkpoint. Oh. Yeah. Neck and neck again. Oh. Both players very close, or both teams actually very close in this section. Oh. Uh, the RNG Dolphins have it. Oh, oh. Dinos with the checkpoint. See, all it takes, you can have just one read and one team can take it. Consistency and sight reading are both incredibly important in a, in a race like this. So, incredible work here. Oh, we can see the oh, whole thing. Oh, 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 oh unfortunate. so close. Barb getting the checkpoint. Fantastic. So this could be anybody's. It could be anybody. All you need is just one good read. Oh. Oh. Shoved on a good attempt here. Might be able to get it. Oh, oh not close. Quite. But now both teams have made it to the same section, so it really could be anyone's race here, actually. Shoujo getting close, trying to attempt the end part in third wall. Oh, also getting also close. Also there. The section is short, so they will have a lot of attempts at getting this part. Um, the ghosts are moving slightly awkwardly, giving them <laughs> a little bit of a pause getting to the final part. Let's see if they can adjust for it. Oh! <laughs> a few moments later. Uh, checkpoint, I guess. And the level keeps going. All right, uh, so we're not done. So welcome to this. I just mm. want to say that this screams Maddie allegedly. It seems enough of just getting a checkpoint. <laughs> A very oh quick God. checkpoint on the double jump dinos part. Oh. It seems meme enough. I think that's what I'm looking for there. Meme, yes. <laughs> oh. You know, I don't think it's going to be the end of it either. <laughs> we have $250 from It's John M. That says, greetings, friends. Being a part of the Kaiser community has been a treat, and I'm so excited to see this race. Good luck, racers, and blame Third Wall. <laughs> Third Wall coming up close here, trying to get to that next, uh, the next section. That's two more attempts at it, so he might be able to get it here. While the Shoujo and the Dinos are making some hot progress here. Third Wall is oh. able to make it to the next section. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Surprise. Oh, my God. And the dino's oh. getting a checkpoint that we completely missed. Oh, that's cursed. Wow, yeah, this is very cursed. Good job. <laughs> yeah, Proud so of now you. the gravity switches upon hitting one of the Eeries. Third wall getting a checkpoint for the Dolphins. Yeah, no, this is this is cursed. I'm, prou <laughs> I'm proud of you all. You did great. Allegedly, she did great. Allegedly. <laughs> <laughs> I 
And th- this music just like kind of sums up my feelings on this <laughs> in general. So this is this is great. We have one hundred dollars from Super Ben. Yo, Ben. What's up, Ben? That says, I was expecting an awesome race, and my mind is still blown. Sorry. <laughs> She's not allegedly sorry at all. No. <laughs> I don't know how Carl didn't die to that spike there. <laughs> and now both teams are into this next section, so back to being neck and neck. Can really be anyone's races if this level keeps going on. It's a very simple idea, just going back and forth, but the maneuvers they have to do going between the spikes and, and everything is not easy. So I'm sure it's very nerve wracking right now. Both teams now in the same section, so once again, some consistency or one shots could change anything right now. The double jump dinos have a advantage going into the final level so far with 40 seconds added. Um, so the RNG Dolphins are going to try to make some of that up here. Uh, hopefully they can see if they can get some hot moves, but Shoujo making some great reads. Please clap. Please oh, okay. clap. The final, oh. Are you ready? Are you ready? <laughs> Let's go fish! <laughs> wow. Good luck. Oh. Good oh. luck. Wow, okay, oh. never mind. This changes a lot. <laughs> <laughs> With the fake spikes, the troll, and the double jump dinos taking level five. Absolutely incredible. Trolly, exactly what I expected, but not quite what I expected. Mischievous. Mischievous. Yeah. Excellent. <laughs> Fantastic. Let's see if they can double jump. Let's see if the RG Dolphins can take it as well. <laughs> I really wish she got hit by that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Bart. <laughs> Yo, let's go. Both teams getting it through the level. Fantastic. Excellent work by everyone. Amazing. Very, very close race. Very close. Very mischievous. Welcome to the Mario World community. <laughs> and let's get another quick donation on. Absolutely. We have $150 from Dr. X Mario. Oh. Huge shout outs to the amazing team of runners, creators, commentators, and organizers who made that awesome Celeste.SMC run and this absolutely incredible race happen. It was a GDQ event that first introduced me to SMW Kaizo and speedrunning community. And this community has come to mean so much to me over the years. So excited to be able to cheer everyone on in person this year, GLHF. GLHF. Now, before we get into the next level, uh, made by both Idol and Margo, first I would like to say a big shout out to Margo for making the overworld. Uh, fantastic work. Um, I'd also like to point out the name of the level, if you can <laughs> see at the top, uh, Ode to Lesbian Worm. So, um, with that said... That seems about right. That seems about right. Yeah. So I don't even know if we need to really explain the creators because I think we got I, everything we need. It's right there. I think we should just jump right into Let's it. Let's just jump right into it. So on three, three two, two, one, go! go. So this level is made by both, both Idol and Margo, uh, both fantastic creators. Margo, known a lot for her aesthetics... Uh, an idol for being mischievous and, uh, you know, not can't trust her in her levels. <laughs> also being the head of the, SM, the website SMW Central, which is where a lot of the assets are used. Slow for me. smile. Already getting a <laughs> checkpoint for the dinos. Yeah, big shout out to Idol for all of also her Also the Dolphins work. getting a checkpoint fairly quickly. Yeah, very quick checkpoints on both teams. We appear to have some kind of moving block a uh, snake block situation that's moving up and down, which is terrifying. And especially when you see, when you ever play a level in SMW where they have the words "hee hee" written somewhere, <laughs> it's not a good sign. So not I'm, particularly, not, no. not great. Or so a smiley face. I don't like seeing smiley faces. Smiley faces, anything positive, are not good. So I'm really <laughs> curious to see where this is going. These taunts look angry, like more so than usual because they're facing to the left more. Yeah, no, they're not vibing. <laughs> they're not having a good time. So the main gimmick of this level are these moving block snakes, uh, or you could consider them the worms, 
where they're moving on layer two, so they're able to move up and down constantly. So this is the ode to said worm. This is the ode to said worm. We a figured it out. Worm. A lesbian uh, yeah. worm, specifically. It's all coming together. It's all. <laughs> it's a story. It's a. It's a wonderful story. The lore is very intricate. <laughs> the lore is uh, invisible block, <laughs> which they're going to use to progress through this level. I'm just like. Every time we enter a new level, I'm just kind of in, enthralled for a little bit, like, because we're seeing these for the first time to ourselves, and so we're trying to parse them the same way that the players are, except we don't have to play them. <laughs> this music has a bit of a chaotic <laughs> energy as well. Yes, this song was ported by Saint X, a pretty, I believe it was Saint X, a pretty notable mm -hmm. member of the SMW Central community. Incredible porter and fellow uh, fellow staff member. Very, very talented. A lot of people in the SMW community are incredibly talented, are incredibly talented, sorry. Um, so not only the people involved with this, but there's just, there's just dozens and dozens and dozens of people out there that are just like beyond talented, amazing individuals. Very, very honored to have people like that in our community. And this section of the level was made by Idol. And Margo also made a section that you'll be seeing soon enough. It's going to be interesting seeing, much like CEO Cadelic and the Borgie Man's level, seeing how they vibe together, how they take the level themes that they've come up with and kind of like mesh them together with their own styles, um, especially like both aesthetically and like obstacle wise. So, very interesting uh, snake block stuff that they're having to dodge right here. The freeform jazz port is incredibly fitting. Yeah, very <laughs> chaotic. I think that now would be a good time for a quick donation. Wonderful, I was thinking the same thing. <laughs> we have $50 from Ozzy that says, it's wonderful to see my favorite members of the Mario community all coming together again for SGDQ. Put my money towards the Mario 64 run because there can never be too much Mario at GDQ. I completely agree and we're over 44000 to our $300,000 we need for that bonus game. So keep getting your donations in and be sure to assign them to whatever incentive you would like oh. to see. <laughs> yeah, let's try to get that incentive soon. Get some more games going while we get this relay. But just absolutely incredible oh. stuff here happening. Both Juz and Shavda getting smacked in the face with that full <laughs> Like we mentioned earlier with the pipe in CO and Bergie's level, you're never free from getting trolled and just getting hit in the face sometimes. Yeah. That's kind of the whole thing behind Kaizo sometimes. And as you're seeing in these relay race levels, um, just a lot of custom elements. The Super Mario World is actually incredibly customizable with a little bit of work. Um, like, for example, in this level, the flumps, you may not remember going sideways, and that's because they don't go sideways. But... <laughs> Uh, you know, we found a way, you know, where there's a will to make someone uh, not be able to beat the level, we'll find it. We have the technology. We have the technology. We shouldn't. <laughs> they're, all making, we do. they're all making a bit of progress for the dolphins. This level seems to be um, a little bit on the trickier side to figure out. So very curious to see how, who's going to pull ahead in this one. Ooh, are we getting hit by the flop when it was coming back? Both teams are pretty neck and neck for <coughs> the amount of progress that they've made so far. Yeah. Just a, just a very difficult level to parse, figure out. Um, but these players are used to it. Like, they've been working hard, they've been practicing, and they have played some incredibly difficult levels out there, so they're all up to the task. Oh, we're figuring out this worm. Thank you so much to everyone who has been donating. <laughs> we have $25 from Dan, the VP. Who says, it has been a blast having so many awesome friends in the SMW community at this GDQ for my first runs on the big stage. Shout out to everyone involved in this incredible showcase. Thank you so much, Dan. And thanks again to Dan for porting the song in Sierra and Bergie's level. Absolutely. We also have $100 from Mooing Lemur. That says, the SMW community is one of the best that I've ever been a part of. I appreciate all of you. Thank you so much. No, thank you. You too. <laughs> and we have $50 from Cam Ewing, 
that says, so much talent from both the level creators and the racers. You all are amazing. Thank you so much, Cam. Thank you so much. Still trying to navigate the worm here. Yeah. We're, we're still we're still worming. We're so. still worming, so we can get a couple more probably. <laughs> I do want to say that we are almost at ten thousand dollars, which would be halfway to our twenty thousand goal for Left for Dead Two Last Stand Showcase. That's coming up in a couple of runs. We absolutely want to see that, so please get your donations in for that incentive. Players using these uh, triple falling platforms are trying to just stall as long as possible while they wait for the worm to to kind of do its worm thing. <laughs> I don't really know Burrow? the scientific term. Scientific, you know what I mean. No. The lesbian worm. Lesbian worm, thank you. Whatever it's doing. Lesbian worm science. Lesbian worm science. That's a term. Yep. But yeah, you, you can clearly tell that this level is, is very difficult. Uh, in general, and in a, a relay race setting like this, where you're up on the stage and there's, you know, there's nerves and stuff, uh, it's going to increase the difficulty a bit as well. But the players are doing their best to try to get through this. It's a, it's not an easy looking level, um, but incredibly impressive. So we'll see who can get the first uh, checkpoint in this. Just make the the correct, the move they need. Oh, Shojo oh. figuring out the triple platform. Yeah, very close to getting through that obstacle. This has been a very difficult obstacle for both sides to get through. And I don't blame them watching it. <laughs> oh. Probably have time for another donation. Sounds good. We have $100 from Proto Pizza. <laughs> That says, it's such a joy getting to see these players live on stage together. I've been playing Kaizo for a few years now, participating in races, and the community is so welcoming and friendly. Good luck, racers. Oh, 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 oh. good progress for the Dolphins. <laughs> racers absolutely need this luck to get past this worm. Oh, <laughs> both teams now knowing how to get through that obstacle, so it really is down to who can just make the, the read first here. Very, very close race for a very difficult level. Yeah, once again, this level does not look easy. So they, the fact that they're doing this on stage with nerves and everything is absolutely incredible. Oh, it does look a close attempt. Probably a good time for another donation. I'm just mesmerized, like, watching this. Same. <laughs> yeah. Same. Absolutely. Um, thank you to everyone who has been donating. You all are amazing. We have $500 from Peak Zorro. That says, let's go. Dr. Mario, once again, helping the real doctors out there. Race for victory. Thank you so much for your $500 donation. We have $25 from the Java Brew that says, I've been so excited for this oh, relay for oh, months. Oh, 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 no. oh so oh. close. <laughs> the up pipe. Just didn't oh. have enough momentum to get up there, but <laughs> oh, all right. so close. <laughs> now the dolphins have the information of where the pipe is and have a little bit of an idea of how they're going to be able to get into it. Obviously, executing it is still very difficult, as we saw in uh, g Rays and Miracle Waters level with that up pipe. That looks incredibly anxiety-inducing at the end. Having played the levels, <laughs> having done playtesting for these levels, I can absolutely say it was. <laughs> Just the snake gradually slowing down. Oh, we'll call with a good attempt. The snake gradually slowing down and building up nerves as you come across one of the most infamous obstacles in Kaizo Mario. Bit of a Mario Maker heartbeat moment. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> we have $25 from Static Rodent that says, oh. more bonus games equals more GDQ. How could I not put my money towards SM64? Let's go. And I asked for it and you all delivered. We're at $45,000. Show you the oh, in. And this section of the level was made by Margo. The first half was Idol. Idol. And this half is Margo. Ah, uh, falling chucks. Yep, that seems like Marga. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the chuck, a standard staple of the Margo level design school. 
Ow. And she's probably watching this, shaking her head, but she can't deny it. <laughs> An interesting part of this level is that it's actually going vertical. A lot of the Mario World levels are just horizontal, go right, but now we're, now we're going up. <laughs> yeah, very interesting. So one thing to note about the section that they're doing right now where they're going up vertically, uh, you can see while they're riding up the vertical brown snake block that you can see that they're having to adjust their uh, movement. They can't just stand on it straight while the uh, block is moving left and right. They're kind of like shifting a little bit. Yeah, you can see Mario moving his feet right there, just kind of pressing the D-pad, unpressing it, and just tapping it. Yeah, otherwise they will fall off. Marco. Oh, oh. <laughs> in case Third you weren't sure. Fight. Third with the oh, yeah. oh, let's go. The Both teams in the same section now. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, really incredible taking the first section where you had the horizontal snake blocks, which was really interesting with the unique uh, ways of dodging it, and then completely rearranging it and going vertically to kind of shift up what the players have to do instead of trying to do a similar thing. We're now kind of changing their entire perspective on how the snake block's going to be uh, traversable as an obstacle. Neom also, by the way. <laughs> also a little uh, weight. You Levels gotta wait before you knew. That's important mm. life knowledge. Level's telling you how to beat it. That means it's easy, right? Yeah, yep. the information's right there. It's like reading instruction manual. <laughs> As we're uh, listening to these instructions here, we have $20 from Groove Heaven that says, this race has been one of the most incredible things I've seen at a GDQ. All six of these players are so talented. It's unbelievable. Putting this towards Mario 64 so the world can see the grace and splendor, that is simply... Oh! oh so very, very so close, close to Shoujo. So, racers gain knowledge that the section does actually end at some point, which is great. <laughs> there is an end to the level, <laughs> believe it or not. We are not here forever. So, if we can just get a couple good plays here, uh, really anyone can take it at this point, but we do have confirmation that the level does end. Always heartening to see. They're going to have to beat the level pretty soon, otherwise we're going to be hitting the 15-minute cap. So yeah. they have just a little bit more time before we have to move on. Yeah, a little over a minute now to see if one of the teams can take it. But with that said, the Double Jump Dino is currently uh, five wins with uh, giving them 50 seconds of advantage going into the final level. And so we can see if the RNG Dolphins can try to lower that a little bit here. We probably do another donation while we see this. Absolutely. We have $25 from Wolf that says, let's hit that 2 million checkpoint. Loving the races, the runs, this whole event. My favorite thing to watch every oh, year. Oh, third goal of very, very close to towns. And we also have $15 from, oh. <laughs> $15 from I Have One Big Eye. Woo. That just says, no you, heart. No you. No me. And we have $300 from Dr. Love that says, wow. That's a good way to sum this up. Wow. <laughs> I agree. Wow. And we have $25 from Duck. And Barbie oh! right at the 15 minute mark. Let's go. RNG Dolphins getting the right win. Right at the wire. Hell yeah. And right at being the wire. Right oh, and after. right what after. close level. Incredible performance from both teams. You love right to see it. Right at the 15 minute mark. Amazing work. <laughs> Absolutely incredible. The dab of victory. Let's go, gamers. Incredible. Wow, okay. So actually, let's start off with a donation really quickly before we go on to this one. Absolutely. We have $100 from Kate Lipsy that says, Hey, y'all. Glad to see some cool friends on camera for this wonderful race. So many cool friends in the SMW community, and I'm glad to consider many of them friends. Heart, carry on. Thank Heart. you so much. Heart. Uh, so it looks like we're going into the final level. Yes, this is going to be the final level of the relay. So all this has been building up to this, where the dinos have a four-level clear lead over the dolphins. So we're going to count them down, and they will have 40 extra seconds of information before the dolphins can enter. But if the dolphins are able to beat the level before them, then they'll end up winning the whole thing. 
So let's get a, let's just get a countdown for the dinos. All right, three, two, one, go! All right, so they're gonna get 40 seconds, and now very important on uh, this level, the final level is made by an incredible creator, uh, Dia the Fourth, who's an absolute legend. Oh my gosh, it's a rhythm level. It, oh, it is. <laughs> and the music is from Crypt of the Necrodancer. This is a Crypt of the Necrodancer level. <laughs> so uh, every single beat is going to be switching <laughs> wow. from the state. So Dia the Fourth is an absolute genius, incredibly talented, and he, <laughs> And we'll wow. need to get a countdown for the dolphins in three, two, one, go! Wow, this is... And the dino's already getting a checkpoint, so that 40 seconds is giving them a whole checkpoint advantage, So if you, if you watched the 2019 relay, you would remember the level that had the rotation and the RNG uh, spike pillars. This is made by the same creator, and you can see that they are holding nothing back for the 2022 relay. Um, making level based entirely off the Crypt of the Necro Dancer. I don't even know how this works exactly. And there appears to be a heartbeat monitor at the bottom, which if you played the, the game before, it's a rhythm game where you have to move to the beat. And it appears that when they don't, they get sent back to the beginning. Um, very interesting. Shove together the checkpoint. checkpoint. The Dolphins is already neck and neck again. I'm just like, I'm, I don't know what to say. <laughs> this is incredible. But the music's slowing down this section, too. Yeah, it's got a, it speeds up and then slows down. Getting into the, the door. door. Fast, though. A shell jump to a, what? <laughs> I don't. Yeah. There is, Absolutely, sure. There is uh -huh. a lot of uh, humor in the Kaiser community with cursed shell jumps like this. Um, this yeah. Funnily enough, Third, oh, Wall Third Wall was showing us something very awful the other day with the shell jump, and now he's getting revenge for it right on the stage. Out of so. anyone in this relay currently, Third Wall has the biggest advantage with making one of the most cursed shell jumps I've ever seen. Similar to this, so I'm really curious to see who's going to take this here. Um, I've never seen karmic retribution like this on the stage before. It's incredible how life works. <laughs> it's very fitting. But I, I wish I could say more about this. I don't really understand how it works. <laughs> and that's just kind of like the of the force thing. They just make things we don't really quite know how it works. It's in Beautiful. Yeah, D4 is a wizard in our community, and not only did she work on this level, but she spent easily over 100 hours over the past few days, even week, trying to work on the entire collaboration because these levels were made independently. Yeah. Just oh. for Carl getting the shell jump for their team. Huge shout outs to D4, yeah. by the way. Can like, we get a round of applause for D4? Like, such an, an, like an incredible person. Absolutely deserves all the praise. The D4 has invested a lot of work in this. We appreciate everything you've done for this community, so thank you. Ah! Bye. <laughs> I just love the music slowing down. It's just so good. Timing the music to the sections individually is just so interesting. I think now would be a good time for a quick donation. Sounds good. We have $200 from Composer. Oh. <laughs> Dolphin's getting into that door. That says, Keck W, me enjoy. Thank <laughs> Thanks to everyone in the community who volunteered their time to make this race so amazing. Jojo making it into the next section, so let's see what we got up here. But the dolphins can't catch up quick. These rooms appear to be very short, so really anyone can take uh, a room to get to the next section fast. Nice. Oh. <laughs> uh oh. Are we destroying the sprites? I don't know. <laughs> I couldn't tell you. I suppose. So it. I don't know. 
What's there's... running through your head, Kaz? <laughs> well, it, watching this, there's there's clearly a, a bunch of bats, and there's different colors. Uh, some of them appear to kill you. Yep. Oh, Barb pulling ahead for the dolphins. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> like, when you go into a, a section like like anything that we've seen, you just kind of experiment and see what kills you, what doesn't, what lets you progress. Um, so, as they start doing things and seeing how things interact, <laughs> they can start making some moves. Uh, Carl trying to figure out what's going on with these bats. I still don't know either, but the other team has already gotten fast. Look at these freeds, by the way. Oh, incredible oh, from Barb. Yep, yeah, and that's Carl also getting the door. Yes. Teams Excellent are neck and neck work. once again. So as you can see, uh, Double Jump Dinos had a 40 second lead going in, but once again, anything can happen with consistency and, and a good read on a level, especially with how short some of these sections have been. <laughs> yeah, oh, it shoved that goes over the, the next door. <laughs> oh, it's King Konga. It is. <laughs> Oh, oh, Shoujo, Shoujo getting oh, very Shoujo close. Almost saved it. Thurwell getting some moves over here. This is incredible. This is incredible. I don't know if this is just a boss fight. I couldn't tell you. It's, you can never tell for sure. <laughs> yeah, when D4 makes a level, you you can never know what's going to happen next. You really don't. It's... Shoujo getting into the door for the dinos. Both teams are on the same section again. Very, very close race. Getting stuck, but that's okay because it's an early death. They'll be able to get back there. It does appear to be some kind of boss fight uh, with some throw blocks and rhythm. <laughs> <laughs> wow, this is chaotic. Oh, this is wonderful. Oh! Oh! oh. Very close. They got information, they got the roll with a very, very close attempt. Also, you can hear with the song as as this section of the level progresses, the tempo actually speeds up. So it starts somewhat fast, but as it keeps building up, it's going to get faster and faster and faster. I can only imagine to keep up. the tension that the players are feeling getting to this far into the final level Two with, hits the, from Barb. with the beat just catching up like this. When I played this for the first time, I it was very, very tense getting into progress. Uh, Barb's got to get up here, get the right. last hit. Let's see if Barb can take this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, my God. Oh. I don't even know what you do. That's so messed up. <laughs> I, don't, I don't even know. There's just numbers, and I can't stand for that. <laughs> Counting is hard. It is. I, 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 I won't stand for it. I don't think Kaz would agree to this if he knew there was going to be math. Yeah, no, I, I don't want anything to do with it. <laughs> Sorry, D. Love you. Unfortunately, I have to give a math update. Oh, uh, um, we're halfway to our Left 4 Dead 2 <laughs> Last Dance Showcase incentive, so please get your donations oh. in for that. This looks very Two? neck and neck right now, though. Uh, chance of the third hit for Barb again. All right, back to math. The most cursed of sciences. Yeah! Gotcha! <laughs> With the victory dab on King Konga. You love to see it. Let's go. With the princess and everything. Let's give it up for both teams who did fantastic work. Absolutely incredible from everyone involved. An absolutely amazing showcase of Super Mario World. Can't believe it. Insane. Insane. Thank you so much to everyone who put the work into this. Mark Larm, Amethyst, <laughs> for commenting the runners for doing amazing work. Everyone behind the scenes. An absolutely incredible showcase of the Super Mario World community. I couldn't think of better people. Yeah, and while these credits are rolling, there were a lot of people that did 
play testing, that did level designing, that did the production process of compiling all the levels together. And as you can see, this play testing and building, there were a lot of people behind this in order to make this as good That's of a me. race, as close to the race as possible. It's me. Well, it's me. <laughs> Not me, Smile. It's me, Smiley. <laughs> So yeah. once again, huge shout out to everyone involved. Everyone in these credits are absolutely fantastic. Couldn't thank you enough for all the hard work that you put into this community to make it as wonderful as it is. You're all amazing. <laughs> thank you so much for this. <laughs> and with that said, that's about it. Thank you all so much for that incredible relay. Yeah, stand up again. Yeah, come on, let's give them another round of applause. What an incredible showcase of the amazing things that are possible in Super Mario World. You are all absolutely incredible. During that, we had a $500 donation from Aaron P. Inc. that said, go Dinos, go Maddie, and trans rights. And while we get set up for our next couple of runs, we're going to go to a quick break. So we'll be right back with more Summer Games Done Quick 2022 in a bit. Well, you made it this far. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see more content like this.